Hey, Fiber Hamashel, there's a lot of stuff on Facebook and people that are sending things about the XRMV virus. Damn it, I could have told them there was a virus a long time ago. Why else am I laying in bed in a cold sweat for hours and can't move? Why? It's not because I'm lazy. And if you think I am, you can go straight to you know where. Since I've been 10, I've been working, okay? Um, I got the insurance companies messing with me, so I can't get up, and I haven't been up for a while. I doubt it'll get to where I want it to be because the drugs and the protocol that, that my doctors and I have put into place that actually made me a functioning member of society will not be paid for by my insurance company. So, you know what I want to say to that. Uh, you guys that write to me, if I don't write to you back, it doesn't mean I don't care. I read it when I can pick up my computer. And I think you know what I mean by that. Because sometimes your brain, and honey, even though I'm a high school dropout, I could speed read. I had a teacher when I was in, well, let's see. It wouldn't be middle school. Well, it was my middle school that gave me James Mishner. I started with Chesapeake, and I read the whole book all the way through. And I understood it, but it took me a week, so I had to find another one. I ended up reading all of Mishner. Um, I guess I would have been the seventh grade, but I skipped ahead. I went from fifth to seventh because I was tall, big people were beating the shit out of me because I was different. And they put me into a higher grade where then they again hated me and I was different. And of course, um, my mother was too busy having children and crying and getting the electricity turned off and whatever. I never really matured, you know, emotionally. I didn't know how to talk to people. The first time I ever felt like I belonged anywhere was a bar. I was a singing telegram messenger. Wore bunny suits. I got a lot of stories. I even have somebody interested in the script, but guess what? Don't have the energy to finish the damn thing. And never really watched a lot of TV till I've been disabled. Now that I watch it, I know my story's good. And I'm sure you guys have a lot of good stories too. But we all need to start screaming a little bit about this virus. Uh, it's the virus, XRMV or whatever they're calling it. It's like a, it's like HIV. It's not dropping us dead in front of people. It's not making us look horribly ill, which is the problem. We still look okay, so nobody gives a shit. But nevertheless, it takes our lives away. Like right now, I got a, a great big old blister in here. It's been here two months. It oozes, it's got whiteheads, it doesn't let me chew. Um, I, I haven't been able to enjoy food. I don't give a shit when I eat. I just do it because I know I have to. And I'm overweight, more overweight than I've ever been, even though I know what to eat. And it's like people, most people leave me good responses, but the idiots that's like, oh, well, you must take calcium carbonate, or you must do this, or you have to stop drinking... Honey, when you're an intelligent individual, I learned this stuff when it first started happening, which I was like 23 or 24. I was in Key West. I was a singer. I had some CDs out. I felt like shit. I had a lot of money, so I could go waste it on the stupid-ass doctors. One doctor told me because my prolactin level was up. It was because I was a lesbian and my nipples were like too much. And even my response then was then I felt bad for his wife if he couldn't lick her nipples. So anyway, this disease has been known by people, by the government. Of course it's not known by doctors because I got to tell you, the medical profession is, is taking your body and you can go to ear, nose, and throat, but they can't talk about anything else. You can go to osteopaths, but they can't talk about anything else. You can go to a skin doctor, but he can't talk about anything else. You can go, and you get my point? You got my point. There's 1,500 doctors for one goddamn body, and the body works as a whole. Ooh, big science. 
wonder if anyone gets it. Doubt it. You know what? My mouth is connected here to my esophagus, which goes into my digestive system, which hasn't worked in years. Which then you took out all my stuff, which has made me even worse. And now I can't even go to the bathroom, right? So come on. Get a couple of us in there that have been through hell with doctors. We'll help you clean up Medicare. We'll help you clean up um, all the health stuff. Because you guys spend money on bullshit. You spend money on blood tests that don't show anything. I've had blood tests for years. They haven't showed anything. Now they have a virus. Hey, it's showing up something. I always knew that. Because I knew I couldn't feel this sick. I've always had drive. I've always done whatever I wanted to do. I came from a small Mormon town where people hated me because my parents were divorced. And I was the best damn softball player there. Then when I was like relocated to a bigger town, Salt Lake City, where people still hated me because I wasn't Mormon and didn't have a mother and father and didn't have any backup. Mom was too busy crying to shop for clothes for me or whatever. So I looked like shit. But you know what? I became the best in state in drama. And then I paid her off. I gave her the rest of her um, money that my father would have given her to leave. That's all it took was money to leave. If I say it turned out, it was your choice. Mom, I was 16. Anyways, you guys, too long, and I need to get my thoughts together. This, I know, is an angry diatribe, and I know I've rambled. But then again, I guess I'm entitled to it since I've been in bed for the last five weeks. Some of the days couldn't even get up to get up my own water. If you can't understand that, don't judge it. Cry Michelle.